seven signs that you're about to buy the wrong house. Pay attention to these warning signs. The perfect house for you and your family, it does exist. It may be the first home that you see, or you may have to go through 10 or 15 houses before finding the right one. What's important when you're searching is to have realistic expectations and know exactly what your priorities are. I want you to understand the features that will add value to your home and the features that you should never pay extra for. And sometimes, for so many reasons, a house that you're seriously considering turns out to be the wrong house for you. And these signs will help you know when to walk away. First, mistake number one, you're trying to force the numbers to work. Regardless of how much you love a home, you'll never be happy or live comfortably if you can't afford it. If you need to twist yourself and your finances into a pretzel each month to get the payments to work, it's probably the wrong house. Taxes and maintenance go up over time. Insurance goes up over time. So if today's payments are tricky, tomorrow's will be that much more difficult. Leave yourself some wiggle room in your finances. You can't leave yourself vulnerable with zero cushion if life throws you an obstacle. Number two, you're not excited. You are just feeling desperate. If you don't have butterflies and excitement about the house and you just kind of shrug your shoulders and say, well, I, I guess it'll have to do, it's probably not the right house. A house that you own is not the best scenario for buyer's remorse. You are still looking at homes online and you're visiting open houses, trying to convince yourself that the one you found is good enough. I would like for you to think twice. In my experience, Buyers will know the right house as soon as they walk in the door. You can see it in their eyes and the smile and the look of excitement as they tour from room to room. I want you to have this same excitement for your next home. Number three, the same is true for the location. You should be comfortable and excited about the home and the neighborhood. How safe do you feel? What is the distance to the locations that are most important to you like restaurants and parks? How's your commute? Explore the community and drive by the home at different times during the day and early evening. Number four, the house doesn't meet everyone's needs. Everyone has heard the saying, happy spouse, happy house, and it's so true. Consider the opinion of everyone that will live in the home. Does it meet your needs? If you have a growing family, will the house grow with you? For buyers with children, how are the nearby schools? Many of our buyers here on the Gulf Coast, they prioritize nearby medical care. So find the home that fits your needs. Number five, this one's important, waiving the inspection contingency. I understand that we live in a crazy real estate world right now, but inspections are recommended for a reason. And the problems that you may encounter are not always visible to the eye as you walk through on a showing. Waiving the inspection contingency to make your offer more attractive could be a warning sign that you're about to make a mistake. There could be items that come up in the inspection report that change your perspective, and many items can be costly to repair. If you purchase a home without due diligence, you become fully responsible. And number six, completely ignoring the inspection report. Just as bad as waiving the inspection is ignoring the advice of your home inspector. Of course, every home is going to have items that will need your attention when you are the new homeowner. But don't ignore the big red flags. Make sure that you're financially able to proceed and make sure that there are no issues that will impact your insurance policy. Once we start to imagine ourselves in a home, it's really hard to walk away. And we don't want you to walk away easily. We just are going to make sure that together we stay prepared and we are aware of any extensive and costly issues. Number seven, do your research. We're going to do some homework beyond the home inspection. Let's take a close look at the seller's disclosure. Have we budgeted for every cost? What are the HOA fees, the CDD fees, special assessments that may be on the horizon? What's happening in the area? Is the area going through a lot of growth? Is that lovely, beautiful preserve that's behind your home going to quickly turn into a new road. Buying a home is a major investment, and just like any investment, it's worth the time to do the research to assess the potential for benefits and risks. So I hope this helps you 
look out for a few signs. Our job is to always protect you and your family. The good news is that every buyer always has more options than they may think. You will find the right home. And if you're frustrated, you're not alone. We can help you figure out what you need, where you would like to live, and we can help you take a good look at your finances to figure out exactly how much you can afford. It's easy to get into financial trouble and we can help. So let's make sure that you avoid all the common mistakes and find the perfect house for you. When you have questions, we have solutions. If we can be of help, just pick up that phone and give us a call. We're only a phone call away.